Hi, my name is Femi Durojai, and um, welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about financially irresponsible parents. Financially irresponsible parents. The Bible says, a good father leaves an inheritance for his children. Now, it is financially irresponsible to embark on a building project, a house project, you know, just because your peers, your neighbor, your friend is doing the same. For example, if your friend, your peers is building a bungalow, you want to build a duplex. It's financially irresponsible. You have to build according to your to the money that you have. If you are competing with your peers, you disrupt the cash flow of your family. Leaving a inheritance, an inheritance for your children becomes second priority. It does not matter to you anymore because you just want to compete. It's financial recklessness. You now start a building project, you now begin to struggle and struggle, and your family finances suffer. Build what is within your ability to build. Because we build a bungalow today, does not mean you cannot build a sky skyscraper tomorrow. Be responsible in your spending. There are some other parents. They get, um, what's it called, expensive schools for their children. It is financial irresponsibility. You now get these expensive schools and then begin to struggle to pay the fees. It's financially irresponsible. People like that never leave a legacy, a financial legacy for their children. You disrupt all your family income, all your family expenses, all your lives. You know, you stop living. You, just, you are just pursuing uh, uh, school fees. It is not right. It's, for, it's financial recklessness, financial irresponsibility. Some people, their own is, ah, mm, they throw expensive parties, you understand, to impress, you know. Some people even borrow money to do parties. It's financial irresponsibilities. If you, if you, if you have money at any time, Impressing people who don't really care about you, who will forget about the party within the next five days. They have forgotten whatever they've eaten, they have passed it out. They don't really even like you in the first place, you know. It's financial recklessness. When you have money and maybe you suddenly come into some particular money, you understand that is big, that maybe you didn't plan for, you didn't think that would be so big or coming at that particular time, buy financial instruments. Buy stocks, buy shares in companies, invest in financial instruments, you know, instead of blowing your, your, the inheritance of your children on parties trying to impress people. Finally, I want also to talk about those who are financially reckless, who, who give so much of their wealth, so much of their family income for religious purposes. Some people are known to donate the school fees of their children to, to religious organization. They donate the house rent that they are supposed to pay for a roof over their family's house, uh, family, over their family. They give it to their religious organizations. It is the height of financial irresponsibility. God does not want so much from you. The Bible says the Cattles on a thousand hills belong to God. All God just require, requires from you is to love him, love your neighbor as yourself, and do the best you can for humanity. That's all. You cannot bribe God. Don't put your, don't, don't, don't scatter your family. Don't destroy the happiness of your children because you are making donations to the church that, that you cannot really afford. So people even go to borrow money and give to their religious organizations is financial irresponsibility. Remember, parents, you have an obligation to ensure that your children live better lives than you did. Remember to leave a legacy for your children and they will bless you for it. Thank you for joining me today. See you at another time. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Femi Jai TV. Bye for now.